All right, welcome to TechGrill. If you're familiar with project management tools like Jira or Trello, well, I've got something for you within WordPress. Fluent Boards, a fairly new project management tool within WordPress. It has a free and a premium version, but in this video, we're going to be checking out the free version in which you can not only have unlimited boards, but you can also have unlimited users within your boards. And there's a lot of other cool customization features. We're going to be checking out the plugin. I'll give you guys a brief walkthrough of the plugin and my review in the end. So let's get started. <laughs> All right, then let's get started with Fluent Boards. So first things first, we're gonna go into plugins. We're gonna add a new plugin. We're gonna look for Fluent Boards. Oh my God, I can't type Fluent Boards, search for it. So this is a fairly new plugin. So you can see right here, it's only got a thousand plus active installations, but still thousand plus with five star rating is pretty good. So there you go. The plugin has been installed and activated. And here we have Fluent Boards. So we're gonna go into its menu. And I guess we're gonna get started with a setup wizard, of course. So we're gonna give our board a title. I'm just gonna keep it marketing and all marketing tasks go here, I guess. Yeah, sure, why not? We're gonna go next step. So these are our stages. So if you've used any sort of project management tools before, then you will know exactly what these are. So tasks, you know, they'll first be opened. And then if someone's working on it, it will go on to in progress and then the task will be completed. And when the task is completed, the ticket will be dragged to a completed stage, right? So that's what it is. If you want to add new stages, you can, but I think for me, open, in progress, and completed looks just fine. You know, maybe I want to change this to, I don't know, backlog. Why not? So there you go. Backlog, in progress, completed. Or, you know, maybe I want to add another section for review. Then I'm just going to type in review. And actually, I'm just going to make this review. And I'm going to make this completed. Now, the reason I did that was because I don't think you can drag these around. So it would have been better if I could have dragged these around. But yeah, regardless, there you go. Review and completed. Done. And I guess we're going to get started with our first ever task. First marketing task. Why not? And there's this checkbox right here to install Fluent CRM plugin, which we're not going to install. So I'm going to uncheck this. So I create board and add task. So there you go. Your board has been added. All right. So at first glance, when you look at this, this kind of reminds you of Trello. Exactly. This does look a lot like Trello. So we're going to look around this board. We're going to customize a few things and, you know, we're going to see what Fluent Boards has to offer. So first things first that I really like is I can create multiple different boards. So I can have a marketing board right here. Maybe I'll have a support team board right here, maybe development board or something. So, you know, I can have multiple different boards, as many as I wish. So that is pretty cool. And yeah, everything is packaged pretty well. I can go right here. Now, if I want to customize the look of this board right here, I can simply go into change background. So you got your gradients. If you're using the pro version, you can add an image. So there you go. That's pretty good. But yes, besides it being pretty, I, th I think the major thing that we want is for it to be functional. And yeah, I guess UI wise, I really like it. So I'm going to open this ticket right here. I can change its status as well. I can add assignees. So right now on this side, there's just me. So I'm just going to assign this task to myself. And I think you can also add people into boards for which I guess you're going to have to go into the boards menu to do that. Or no, maybe not. You can just simply add someone to the task and I guess they'll automatically be added into the board. So yeah, here within our task, you got your assignees. Once it's assigned to someone, you can also add labels. I guess it's not just color labels. If I add this, I'm just going to write in high to signify high priority basically. So I'm just going to save this high priority. There you go. You got your label right here. You can set a due date as well. 31st. Why not? Priority. Oh, you can just choose the priority right here. This is not necessary. I'm just going to type in bug, I guess. Yeah. All right, there you go. Save this label. You can add multiple different labels. So that is pretty good. And you can see the change right here, right there. All right, that looks good. And you can also change its cover green. Okay. Besides that, if, if someone wants to leave the task, I guess, there you go. I've left the task. So now it is unassigned. I can join this task as an assignee. I can move this task to whichever stage I like. And if I want to transfer this task from one board to another, I guess I can do that from here as well. Position one current. So, okay, so this is pretty good. You can also change its positions. That's nice. So here, if you want to add attachments and subtasks, you'll have to get the premium version of this plugin, but you, know, you can easily paste in your links on comments and yeah, you can make it work if you're using the free version. So yeah, that's pretty good. You can archive this task. If you want to watch this task, you can watch it. If you don't want to receive any sort of notifications, then you can do that as well. You can go into activities. You can see who has done what within the task. So yeah, this is pretty good as well. So there you go. Your tasks look pretty good. You can move these tasks around as well. And there's a different view as well. You have the normal Kanban view. You got your list view. 
So yes, you can switch between whatever floats your boat, I guess. And there's also this calendar view, which is only available in the pro version. But I think Kanban view is what a lot of us would like. So there you go. You can filter your tasks as well. That's pretty cool. So there you go. You can add stages as well. And now let's go within its settings, I guess. All right. So here within the free version of Fluent Boards, if you want to access the Fluent Boards menu, then you'll have to have the admin permission within WordPress. If you don't have it, there is no way to assign access to Fluent Boards to a user that is not an admin, if you get what I mean. But if you upgrade to the pro version, there is a feature for that. But yeah, depending on your workflow, this can be a big issue or, you know, it may not be a big issue because, you know, you can always create a subdomain and then add this plugin right there. So you can always do that. But yeah, besides it, let's go into general settings. And this is a pro version feature as well. OK, I guess email notifications. This is free, though. This is pretty good. So each time someone makes any sort of changes to the tasks, each time someone assigns a task to somebody, then Fluent Boards will send out an email to keep people on top of their tasks, basically, which is pretty good. So you got your email notifications. You can choose what emails you want to send. You unfortunately cannot change the content in the free version. But then again, you're not going to use this with your clients, so I don't think that's necessary. So here you got your card view preference. So if you want to show labels, the priority, etc., on the card view, or if you don't want to show it, then you know you can turn it off in the card view from here you got your incoming webhook which is available in the premium version then you got your features and modules that you can add so one good thing about fluent is that you know fluent has got multiple different plugins like crm fluent forms plugin support smtp so basically if you want to connect fluent boards with other of its fluent brothers and sisters then you can do that and of course there are other features modules you got time tracking basically the front end portal means without having to go into the admin panel you can view your boards in the front end so you know your users or your team members can interact with the board that way as well so yeah it looks pretty good now if we go here into the reports tab you unfortunately don't have reports in the free version but then again again this is my opinion if you have a small team i guess it's unnecessary boards you got your dashboard here you can check all your upcoming tasks overview tasks and completed tasks so yeah this looks pretty good so if i wait so if i make this task completed then i suppose it's gonna show up right here right yeah there you go completed looks pretty good and yeah getting back to our board so okay i guess let's explore the board settings first about this board you got your board overview right here board activity okay so you can basically check all the activity within the board not just the task from here so yeah, this is your place for a quick recap for everything that's happened if you go here change background we already saw that board labels of course is we already saw that as well board members if you want to add members so this is where you do it this is what i was referring to last time then you got your notification settings if you only want certain notifications from this board to be sent you can do that archive items so here you can view all your archive tasks if you want to duplicate this board you can do that as well and you can keep your tasks and your labels or if you don't want to you don't have to but yeah, there's that option as well if you want to delete this board you can and here within our stages, our stages have their own settings as well. You can copy this stage. You can set its status to closed. So currently in backlog, it means that your task is open. If you want to set the status to closed, then your task will be closed. Right. If you go here, you can reorder the stages however you wish. Oh, so here you can reorder your stages. So that's pretty neat, I guess. And here you've got your sorting options. You can move all the tasks from this board to the other board. If like everything's done, you can do that. Change background. Oh. Okay, so this is pretty nice as well. So you can change background for your stages as well. That's pretty cool. So archive all this task. And if you want to just archive this stage completely, then you can do that, which I'm not going to do actually. So here we can go into archive items, archive tasks, archive stages. So I can just unarchive this stage and I can move it back. Okay, so overall, I haven't found any bugs. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. It's a pretty solid plugin. So there you go. My review of the plugin. I'll give this plugin a good, solid, 8 out of 10. Now the reason I've given this plugin an 8 out of 10 is because you know it does everything that you're supposed to do. It does not have a lot of features that is wrongly implemented or has a lot of bugs. Yeah, it's a pretty simple plugin to use. And since I'm also using the free version, you know, there isn't much, but it has just enough. And all that is implemented in a really good way. So yeah, 8 out of 10. So that was the installation, walkthrough, and my review of the Fluent Boards plugin. I'd like to hear your thoughts on the Fluent Boards plugin. Let me know down in the comments below what you think. And if you found this video helpful, drop a like, subscribe. I'm Sid and I'll see you whenever I see you. Take care.